Okay, today we're going to be doing a ban list discussion, two weeks after the, ban the release of the ban list. Nothing to do with uh, my um, laziness or time constraints. We're just doing this Shut because up, we've had time to think about the list, we've had an event, the format's developed, and now we basically just get to review it and see, you know, how things have come through with the new list. So really, starting off, first of all, how did we end the format? It was pretty much just Zoo and Draco were the main decks. Yeah. That was um, fun. That was yeah, fun. that was it. That was, so, um, that was basically it. So unsurprisingly, I guess we should probably start with the Zoo. <laughs> um, well, um, well deserved, really. Um, I mean, I, th I think Zoo is an engine, like, that's, that's a separate thing, but we've had it since, like, March. So you went like six months and it was just playing Zoomers all the time, so I got kind of stale. Do you don't I think, think banning like... Broadbow was overkill? Nah, no. I don't think so because like it's... God no. Nah, no. No, after they ban after they banned Dryden only and like a couple other hits like Barrage and OCG Zoo was still a top tier deck. Draco Zoo mainly like, but Pure Zoo was still a deck because just making a two eight guy that pierces and is uh, like DD Warrior Lady is strong. And strong. I don't think they want <laughs> from one card that is strong. Uh, and in fact, it also has a Ram Ram on the board or a Hammer Kong because Broadbill is what makes your Chakanine live. Something kind of, yeah, something kind of weird to notice is that like uh, you can't actually fucking resolve Chakanine turn one uh, without Broadbill reasonably, yeah, unless you're going to go like Thorough Blade and Scar. Yeah, or... you need to draw Blade or Normal Rat. That's the only way you get to oh, resolve so I need to draw Chakanine one of my anymore. Nine cards of Blade Tanky or Blade himself, and another Zo. Well, <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, I think that the deck. Probably should have, you know, been worked down and toned down a lot. But is this really unplayable? Well, I don't know. If you're, if you're Duncan, we've had it for six fun. months. I don't care if it's unplayable. Uh, Duncan probably, like, you know, consider considers it still playable. But I guess he thinks a lot of things are playable. Do you not think maybe yeah. just banning Barrage and like Dryden would have like sufficed? If they banned just Barrage and Broadbolt, it could have been interesting. But Dryden's, yeah, I don't know, Dryden's a bit though. like, yeah, it's a bit good. Right. Yeah, well, but anyway, the, the point is, not like, threatening, though, overwhelming that, majority of people would probably want Zoo gone. So, yeah, I don't think anyone's too sad about it, really. Actually, I don't know anyone who's actually just sad about it. Like fucking hell, like we've been using Ooh, Dryden Pup like for. Uh, also, like probably needs to go because there's so many FTKs that use it. Yeah. Um, R.I.P. and so, Ferdy for another four years. So I'm pretty happy that happened. What else did they get hit? Basically, Rap here is now yeah, Rap to one. Rats right, at right. one, banned Broadbow and Dragon. So that's pretty much the zoo hits. On to Draco, we have. Well, this is interesting. Not Masterpiece. Yeah, that's pretty uh, much like my thoughts. They decided that Dynamite was banned worthy. Yeah, I think Dynamite was banned worthy. I think that. I think, was banned I think Masterpiece was far more banned. Masterpiece should have gone as well, but uh, Dynamite like, is what kind of gives the deck advantage and it lets them yeah. play in your turn and stuff. So I think that's actually a pretty smart hit. Well, but, um, funnily enough, we did this pieces. ban list discussion a couple of weeks later because, lo and behold, few people topped with Dino, uh, Draco, recently. Yeah, so like, what, what you do before is you play the game, uh, and then you summon Masterpiece, and then uh, when you summon Masterpiece you win because you're in a pretty simple against it. But, now you can't really do that, now you just summon Masterpiece and don't hope you have an out, which is like a much worse variant of the deck, and it's much less like interactive. And, just fucking really boring and shit. Whereas at least the deck before you could like interact with it and you could like you know, summon hammer call and try and beat it. With Pendulum as the main deck, it really sort of just cripples Draco a lot because yeah, they still have Masterpiece, which is really strong, and the deck is still pretty like good. But you know, Pendulum it's not a just... problem for Magician to out. Yeah, That's exactly. So Pendulum just out Masterpiece really easily, and. Yeah, so the, how many ways is there to out Masterpiece in that deck? So you can have... Um, any way to summon Harmonize and Jishin, uh, any way to make a rank 4, uh, you can rank four banish uh, so Lightning. Lightning. Well, I mean, assuming, like... Assuming no dagger. Mm, yeah. Um, but yeah, there, there are... Uh, like, if it's not unaffected by traps, you can use the trap on it. There's, I think that's there's like the only way to summon it now is with the trap. Because like you have to set up for it. Yeah, you could, you'd summon it during your turn quite a lot. Like the thing that I see happening with that deck is that the masterpiece gets summoned not immune to monsters a lot. 
because it doesn't have the fodder because you'd normally set up with dynamite and tribute yeah. during your opponent's turn by tributing the dynamite but I mean, it just, it doesn't get, like yeah but, uh, maiden sort of works like that but you need to draw one of your four traps or search one of your four traps and have maiden it's a lot more effort to summon it while making it monster immune than it was before so like it always like recently whenever i play against it, it just ends up being immune to spells and traps and not monsters uh, along with that, you can also kind of play Ragnar Zero in uh, decks now, because they can have a Masterpiece when they have like a Diagram up, occasionally. That's quite cute. I never noticed that. And for the next major Draco hit was Ignis to 1. I, honestly, yeah, I think just the, the Draco hits were just overkill. That's really my thoughts on overkill? it. Overkill? They were shit! What do you mean? Like The, the deck's still very playable. That's not overkill. I mean, Even as an engine, it's still playable. I think that Masterpiece being banned and like a couple of hits here and there, probably like Diagram, like hit it, banning Masterpiece. Um, I don't think. I think if you ban Masterpiece, it makes the entire deck unplayable. I don't agree with that. I don't think so. Well, like, you just want to summon guys really that. Strong. I... Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll summon like, little guys that add other little guys that just yeah. add other little guys. So it's cool. Like, it, draw, it generates lots of yeah. advantage and stuff. It's. Yep. Good engine. Um, I th yeah, I think it was pretty cool. Like that, and you could just yeah. Like you probably wouldn't yes. play just Draco if Masterpiece was banned. So yeah, you couldn't play it pure. Yeah, so I just don't it, think that would be a good deck. But then again, it would be in the same situation. As yeah, there. but it's currently not a good deck either. It's just some Masterpiece does. I think the deck would be good if Pendulum wasn't so, like, good. If Pendulum struggled to out Masterpiece, then it would be probably just really strong. The I mean, problem with the Pendulum and like Magician matchup is that if you go first with Pendulum, if Draco break your board, you don't care because you have so much recursion. And if you go second with Pendulum, you don't care because none of their plays actually stop you from doing anything. Like, okay, they, every once in a while they can use a trap to pop a monster or a masterpiece to pop a monster, but that doesn't stop you from doing your plays because you just have so many monsters in that deck. Yeah. That just doesn't like it. Just doesn't slow you down. Draco just doesn't slow you down enough with, like, when you're playing magicians. It's the free matchup. So is that all the Draco hits? I think so. Uh, uh, return. 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 Uh, the, her the heritage is still the uh... heritage is a three. Um, um, yeah, we have the trap. So. I don't think hitting the trap was necessary at all. I would have liked to see like this one of the spells hit. Perhaps maybe that would have been better. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. The trap seems really random. The thing is that it's like it's quite a hard draw deck, so uh, and the trap is one of the best cards. I think deck, like I what they good. figured is that like if you ban dynamite and then hit one of the traps, it just becomes a lot harder for the deck to summon during oh, your opponent's turn, which is what they didn't want to happen, I guess. I'm just curious to know what their logic was. Like, did did they intend to kill the deck? Were they intending to water it down? Like, what was? Uh, yeah, I think they intended to make it not as oppressive, as in like not as interrupting every single play you do by like tributing a monster, and then eventually tributing a masterpiece. But they kept masterpiece, so it's like. Yeah, but you're not summoning four monsters during your opponent's turn and blowing up three cards. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know, like, Konami's weird, it's hard, I mean, they never explain their ban list, because it would have been interesting to see, like, you know... Yeah, which, which... I think something that I would like to see from Konami is, like, to, to explain their reason. Mm. Um, yeah, they're quite interesting. They, they actually did that once when they banned Kaiser Coliseum, if you guys remember. Yeah, they yeah, explained yeah. that list, and they also explained the emergency ban list with Pepe, I believe. Mm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, they explained that list, but then they had to come out and say that the person who explained that was not part of the decision-making team, and that the person who was explaining that was giving his own opinions as to why they thought those cards were banned. Wasn't the, wasn't that the Kaiser one? Because the, Matt Bell yes. had a video, I'm sure. Uh, I don't know about a video, but I know the article was written by someone who did not have any input on the decision-making process and had no... It, prior knowledge as to why those cards were banned he was just giving his opinion yeah because i mean when he said kaiser calls you this card can end games before it has even started this was always undesirable and it's like every floodgate in the game has just been called into question with that one sentence i was i mean i was kind of happy when that happened because i was like oh at least they're now like stick taking a step in the right direction they've now realized something but i'm not actually sure there's been a floodgate banned after that to be honest emptiness uh, yeah, okay, I did it. So I think that's and the... then they put anyway. Imperial Order back to one. Well, no. Let's not get sidetracked on a tangent here. Uh, that's that's all the Draco hits, I, I I believe. Next is Dinosaurs, which 
maybe he surprises a lot of people. Yeah, they kind of just like neuter dad deck. Like, and by neuter, I mean like they just like kill his firstborn child. Like, it's yeah, just it's fuck, so unplayable. Yeah, I think if we had Dino, this little in between format would just be AIDS. Like, this current one is quite good. I enjoy it, but I think if Dino was in it, it would just be fucking terrible. I mean, do you not think if they just banned VFD, which is fucking oppressive as hell? Okay, nah, so if VFD wasn't VFD, even the biggest part. Instead, they make Trish with a set. They make Trish enter Blanthenir and set powers. So you've got two cards looked out your hand and they have a negate. That's still really oppressive. Mm. So and then they got to stop that. Is it Lithogasm yeah. and. Lithosagam. Yeah. Lithosagam is oh. a really, really good tip. You just need a Diagram Baby to do that, and Lithosagam, banning Lithosagam just stops that completely. And Denglong, because you need Denglong. But... Well, I think, it, I think it's really sad that they hit Denglong. I didn't want that to go. Like that, There must have been other ways to soften the deck without hitting Denglong, because it's like, Denglong, you can play that in so many other things, like Metal Foes and obviously pure Yang Zing. Um And now you've just got like... Yeah, it's just that Denglong always created crazy loops and crazy combos, and I guess they just didn't like that. Like Denglong, uh, I don't know. It just always has mental combos, like Denglong specifically is a with Mare Mare. I mean, it's got like four effects or some shit. It's crazy, and it's a trigger, yeah. like, and it floats and searches counter. Oh, it just fucking does everything in like one card. Yeah, searches a counter trap, floats, doesn't miss timing. <laughs> um, Lithosagum, Grand Soil. I, I don't know. They kind of Grand Soil for the FTK. Yeah. The only yeah. dinosaur deck that ever topped this format. Was the FTK of Dinosaur deck, and then they banned Grand Soil. Yeah, not really much to say there. Um, Do you not think that's weird that Dinosaurs had zero tops and it got destroyed uh, on the ban list? It topped Rimini, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, the FTK. No, no, it no, didn't no, top no. Rimini. No, no, it did. Uh, there was Dinosaur Yangzing of... that topped. There, there is something kind of weird about this though. Is that like can I always talk about the TCG and the CG being so separate? <laughs> but then this list kind of reflects that like the TCG list was in preparation for what has happened in OCG. So they don't want what's like the meta game that's developed in OCG to happen over here. So that kinda seems kinda weird to me because they've like looked at that as a sample and then they've applied it over here even though they claim they're two completely separate things. Yeah, like the same thing as like Dino's one world. Yeah, so, that's something that's well, we must slaughter it even though the like worlds win because Konami used to kill worlds decks and then they kinda stopped yeah. last year and the year before I think. Like, no, tell, yeah. tell us One Worlds and then they didn't oh. kill it. But, like, there was there was this, like, culture and natural sort of... No, tell us One Worlds, then they put Rota to one. That was it, yeah. But, like, remember, like, but last year with Blue Eyes, they didn't do anything. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, Blue Eyes as well. So there was, like, for the longest time ever, there was this weird tradition where even if the deck sucked and it did nothing in, like, our, in, like, in, a, in its, its own separate format, <laughs> they would just, like, traditionally just destroy the world's winning deck. And then they just stopped doing that. But then this year, they went and hit Dinosaurs really hard and not One Worlds. But... <laughs> Is that related? Are they not? Maybe? That's the thing, like, I don't really know. It's either related or it's a preemptive hit to stop it just being so AIDS. One thing we didn't talk about with Dino is Miscellaneous Saurus. Limiting it is... This, this was unnecessary, I think. Unnecessary? Yeah. Like, you've already banned Lithosagum and Denglong. You don't need to ban, like, put Mesh to one either. Yeah. Missed the one is quite strange. Does that really matter though? Because I mean, you can still like search it now, like off. Yeah, but cards. the point of Misk was like to banish it and summon ALO from your deck and then make Denglong. But now you can't do that. <laughs> well, you can. What can you make? <laughs> like, you, can make like, you can make Trishula. Like without, with... you can make Trishula. <laughs> it's still searchable by like six other cards. So I mean, it's not like. What What was the point limiting it? That's what I'm curious. Like. Because they've hit uh, Denglong, so, so what, you could, so you mean? only play seven and not uh, nine. It's like that's not a consistency <laughs> hit. That doesn't make sense. Like, <laughs> I know. Or, or maybe because you can't dissolve it twice. I don't know. Yeah, because uh, like you would do things like use Misk, summon another Misk from deck, and like make a Lagia sometimes or, or synchro with it, and then you'd have yeah. a Misk and Grave for maybe next turn. Like maybe something like that. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it, but I guess it. I guess it hurts the recursion of the deck in a way. Yeah. I'd hardly call it a tempo card, so I don't know. It's it's weird. Well, well no, because there would be tempo plays that you do like uh, searching over at different and stuff. That would help a lot. Making your the dinos immune to stuff is nonsense. I don't really know if that's the reason it got hit. Yeah, your board was never dinos. <laughs> it was more to do with the the tuner and the floating aspect more than like the actual unaffected by everything. Is that all the dino hits? I feel like there's one more. 
No, that's on. Yeah, Lithosagum, Dinglong, and Miscellaneous. Uh, any yeah. other archetypes get hit, or should we go back to individual cards? We talked no, about Zoo, Draco, it. and Dino. Okay, so let's go through everything else then, basically. Um, Digusto Emerald. Interesting ban. Yeah. FTKs, loops, it's just always been involved the, the, in that. The thing is, outside, outside of the loops and stuff, it's a really nice, healthy card. Um, yeah. And it's a shame it went, but like it just, it just couldn't stay, because like, the amount of shit that enabled it's just yeah. ridiculous. I don't think they liked it bringing back Gaia Saber and then like making Firewall yeah. just from one Emerald. Yeah, so we would... Uh, then in turn, it kind of made um, Gaia Saber just kind of unplayable now. So again, it's a question of like, you know, was this like related to Zoo in some shape or form? I mean, Zoo stopped using Emerald after Master Rule 4, really, but like it was extremely incremental to the deck before that. Did they feel like, you know... Yeah, uh, this won't be anyway? anything to do with Zoo, I don't think. And uh, it's just FDKs really sure. and Firewall Loops. Because mm. this does stop a lot of the Firewall Loops. Uh, let's see, what's next? Yeah, so there's Ban and Firewall, but... So we could probably do Oops. these two together, since they're related. Slumber and Dark Hole, both to one. Yeah, so why would you put Dark Hole to one instead of Ban and Raigeki? It's a weird question. They just like the option of having to, you know... Yeah, they just like having <laughs> Raigeki in the game, because it's like a weave anime nostalgia yeah. card. Is it in the anime? So... Uh, yeah. probably. I don't fucking know. I don't think it was in the anime. Uh, Slumber to one, yeah, whatever. It's, it's just weird putting cards like that from three to two to one. I don't really get that. I mean, I've spoken to Matt Bell personally, and I feel I've always got the impression that he felt like board wipes in general were w really strong. Um, but I completely disagree because as the game progresses, there's just going to be more dumber and dumber like monsters made, and Dark Hole is always there to like deal with like stupid monsters. I mean, like spamming a board and stuff is like. Uh, that's just kind of like standard Yu-Gi-Oh these days, but like, you know, having a fucking, I don't know, Vanities drop on you randomly or just... Yeah, what, I don't know. Whatever, like whatever the in-format sort of floodgate monster happens to be, it was nice to have like uh, Denko as well, for example, that was like a decent out to it kind of thing. Like, it was nice to have these kind of... But now you can't really play any board wipes, really. Like, you'd have to start playing traps or something. I was just, I was really wait, hoping for Dark Hole to go to three and banning Regeki. That was ideally what I would like to see happen. Yeah, but coming into three would have been quite interesting because of links. Three Dark Hole. Yeah, like, would... five years ago, if we said Dark Hole would be at three, like who would have fucking believed it? And it technically was last format with like Regeki to Dark Hole, and yet it just wasn't really played. Yeah, it was Nadir. It was played extremely. Board like, yeah, really? dark hole is like, like, board board yeah, almost every deck cited two dark hole reggae. Yeah, board bikes are extremely frequent. It was good in the same way. Did they not just get like bodied all the time? Like, yeah, but then it beats the body, and your dryden's gonna go through. Yeah, I suppose. But then you're still dealing with a dryden, so you're just one for ones. Like, it doesn't seem that great. And the, I don't know. But yeah, one for I ones think, are fine. Uh, the zoom error. So overall, I, I wasn't too happy with Dark Hole being limited, but I can understand the reasoning. Yeah, it was a bit strange, but whatever. Gateway of uh, the Six is limited. Not relevant. It's so weird, because it's like... Just put it to three or I just buy it. I think Six Samurai apparently have support coming up, but I don't know what any of the cards do. And none of them search... Um, well, None of them search gateway, gateway. Then, then it's, yeah. it's pointless. So it's really weird when they when they when they have engine cards like that. This come well, not engine cards. But it is an engine card technically, but it's unsearchable in yeah, every shape or form. It is an engine card, so it doesn't have to be searchable. No, okay, yeah, it is an engine card, right? But but the fact that you can't search it in any shape or form, unless like you're left arming or stuff, but that doesn't like that's just that's bad. Then it's like, so gateway is extremely powerful in six samurai, but it's only good when you open it. So putting it to one just means like what, what does that mean? It just means like six sams are one in eight games gonna open broken or I think they're just too scared to put cards like that to three immediately because they don't know like because because what they've done in the past, like Yeah. But well, the thing is it's like if you put OCG gateway to have one, it in three that's not really testing the waters, is it? Because it's too it's, inconsistent. It's not, no. So um, um Yeah, they need to find a much better method to test. Should it be slowly coming back in like the that. first place? I mean, I can't really see what harm it would do, but then I also can't see why we'd need it in the game, so I don't really know. 
It's a weird one. I guess it would maybe go up in the next list like Ravine has, but we shall see. Let's see what's next. So we're on to the semi-limited section. <laughs> uh, I'm going to leave this last for the semi-limited section because I just love it so much. But Luster Pendulum is at two now. That is... Um, That's cool. Not really relevant um, sort of right now, but it is a very good card. See that card right at the top there, Atlantean Dragoons. Can we put that to three? What's the reason for it not being a three like and only two? Is it like relevant? There, there is no reason. You, you don't want to see it that much. <laughs> I thought maybe like. Nepta sends one, adds the other one. Why would you need three? One though. I thought maybe like three did something like extraordinary, but I guess it's just, what is it just three is just like more consistent. Yeah, that's like it. It's kind of bizarre that they just it's been at two for so long. I guess. The thing is, these kind of like consistency hits aren't really that relevant now, because our decks are always so searchable now. So I don't really know. Luster hopefully might be good in some kind of pendulum deck in the future, but I don't know. Hey, well, will we ever see a pendulum archetype system. again? Uh, I think so. I mean, Performer Pal seemed to get a new fucking card like every single set for the past twelve years. Like, who, has anyone here heard of like Performer Pal fucking Hip Hippo and some shit? Like, there's so much stuff. Well, yeah, Hippo's from like the first set. fucking set. The nope. was it correct? Uh, what's the most recent Dag Performer Dagger Man? Pal? Daggerman. Oh, people know Daggerman. Well, do people Dag know Daggerman? Daggerman? I only know Daggerman because of Duncan. But I don't know if other people know it. If, do you know what I mean? I don't know. Are you sure Dab Daggerman's a real card? Dab Daggerman. <laughs> well, that's his fucking name. Dag Daggerman. <laughs> Daggerman. It's Dab Daggerman. Fuck off. <laughs> Luster to two is like. I th I th that card is just insane, but like it just happens to be in a deck currently magicians where it's just not good. But it's not not good. It's just it's 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 got an awkward number. Wait, that that is the reason why, right? It's because it's got an awkward number. Am I wrong? What's this? I, f I spaced out. Luster. Why is it bad in magician? Um, it doesn't do enough. Pop Iris, Trigo's Pendulum Graph. Whoa. <laughs> can do that anyway cool. with like 90% of your hands. It's not a magician card. Seems not that great. Yeah. Lithium says this list sucks. <laughs> um, Mathematician to two. Can we just like, I just want to like point something out, right? Mathematician is at two after like, how many years? Two? Uh, two, two years, yeah. Two, three years mathematician, and they've only just put up to two. Non searchable, like non engine. Well, it could be technically be an engine card. It's like. I think Armageddon Knight deserves to be a two more than mathematician. Armageddon Knight is literally more broken than mathematician. Armageddon Knight, Armageddon Knight only sends darks, bro. But it sends yeah, any man. dark. Yeah, but you don't get to send glow up ball with Armageddon Knight. It's level four. Yo, the day they yeah. make level a broken four or level lower. four, which means you can't make Herald, one card Herald Dark play with it. Just wait. Oh. The day they make a broken level four synchro, like mathematics. Uh, there is real Herald whatnot. Mm, search a ritual, boom, yay. Oh, maybe we could ow, search ow. Vendreds, bro. Oh, mathematicians will totally be played in Vendreds, actually. Yeah, it totally would be, bro. I'm, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna pick that that deck up ASAP because, like. The They're music. not gonna make it broken. That cards are all well, garbage. Mate, you never know. Look at Spiral. Watch, Spiral was yeah, but when you, but when you read Quick Fix, you knew it would be broken. There's no Quick Fix with that archetype. Mate, it's it's got a fucking trap that like fucking tributes their field or something. It's good. It's gonna be good. I promise. One day, hopefully. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, you're right about Quick Fix. Like, see when that first came out, it was like, okay, that's that, that's insane. But it yeah. just didn't really have anything to enable it. Resort this as well wasn't crazy. Per turn. Was I'm Resort the first leaks. wave of support? No. no. Maximum Crisis. Mm. Well, Resort is really, really good. Yeah, Resort's broken. So, next up we have Bryanak. Honestly, nothing to say there. Who cares? Librarian the relevant, is... It's cool that it's that too. Yeah, Librarian's kind of weird, but... Uh, like, initially yeah. reading that, I was like, holy shit. But yeah, then, like, someone... we're under Master Rule 4. So, yeah. uh, maybe not so much holy shit. <laughs> Have to summon like like a link two, and then summon two librarians, and then still have link but, markers to summon. But other like theoretically, I don't think two librarians should exist in this game. Um, I, I don't really see the point in doing that. I don't, I don't think that's a very healthy thing. To do. Uh, and I think eventually it, it could lead to problems, and it shouldn't have came back for that reason. But for now, it's no immediate problem. So I guess it's fine. 
I mean, I guess if they're ready to e-ban that at any point, then that's fine, but they're definitely not, so we shouldn't go there. I guess that's really all to say about High Valley Burn. Oh, Burn controls that too, I didn't even realize. <laughs> yeah. Um, what does that it do now? Sucks. You can only target a normal summoned? Yeah, you can only target works. things that can be normal summoned, so you can never target anything from the extra deck. So it doesn't target yeah. anything post 20, like 14. It doesn't, it doesn't <laughs> target anything relevant apart from like... Uh... Masterpiece. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna side that for Draco now. <laughs> well, top tips. <laughs> we're gonna go on the Yu-Gi-Oh wiki and make an account tip section. This card can be controlled by Bring. <laughs> oh God. <coughs> um, burial from a different dimension. What, like, if this was at three hypothetically, like, what would you be playing it in? Like Infernoids? No, no, no. Infernoids. ABC bro, ABC. Abaka. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, once you summon yeah. one buster, you can now make three. Wait, but wait, two. master row four. Yeah, 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 yeah. Infernoids potentially take advantage of this, but eh, that deck sort of doesn't really do much. Unfortunately. El Shadol Fusion. Yeah, it's about time this card who got cares? put the two. Uh, who cares? But I guess we've already had a discussion about Shadol Fusion. Let's put Construct to one. Um, yeah, let's uh, let we'll, we'll talk about things that maybe could have come back and should have come back after we've gone through everything. But yeah, yeah. Uh, prep is at two now, and yes, boy, long overdue to be honest. But we flex it. We are Neck on hype. You just trash a spiral sleep away. I think prep is a is is a really good car, and like pre prep is really good as well. Like yeah, it's I not that good in decks that aren't necros, honestly. I, all, all the problem was being able to search Brianak, which they can then search literally anything you want. The thing is, like as, as soon as we get another uh, a relevant ritual deck one day, I don't know, maybe ever. Yeah, can it, someone probably... can turn off their Facebook? It's really annoying. If um, we get a broken ritual deck, it's like think about it. Imagine we have like a really strong necros deck again in the future at some point. Pre-prep is just instant plus one. Prep, plus one. It's like, that's crazy. But then again, pre uh, ritual decks tend to sort of nag themselves really hard. But, I don't know. Yeah. Um, they probably put prep back to two because they maybe want to give more support. Vendreds, dude. Vendreds. Shites, anyway. And finally, just the last card on the semi-limited section. Black Luster Soldier. Is now that too. Whoa. Uh, yeah, that, that card's kind of cool. Holy, <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. Us was already sir. I, I think this is going to break the game, the to be honest. Vlad, um, your internet's like cutting out a bit. But yeah, um, you think it's going to break the game? Explain. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, because, like, um,. It's just gonna break. <laughs> Can you think of something funny there? Could you? Well, I mean, JY just made it to the finals of the two hundred man UK Open playing sixty card lights or Maybe he was playing two BLS. Yep. We well, don't, you don't know see that, that many, to be honest. Is he in the final? He made the final. Yeah, it was him versus Jawad in the finals. Wait, isn't it a two day event? No, it's a one day event. Oh, are they still playing? No, Jawad won. Oh, what did Jawad play? Magician. Oh, sweet. One, ma one main wavering, I think. <laughs> Jawad, please. Please, I'm going to have a sit down with that boy. Um, yeah, that's well, a That boy that's seven. got like six YCS tops, yeah. <laughs> let, me, let, me t let me teach you a theory, boy. Sit down. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the full semi-limited section, I guess. On to no longer on list. Sick. It's a Bree Dragon. Pretty much irrelevant. Most, half, most of this is irrelevant. Bit. Um, yeah, anyone got anything to say about the Bree Dragon? It's a normal summon, good night. Yeah. Cool. I wouldn't play it like... Tempest is still banned, right? <laughs> cool. Cool. Uh, brain Control can Next. target it, I guess, but they, they synchro with it anyway. Next. <laughs> brain Control can target it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> honest. Next. Honest. Uh, this, this is somewhat a wee bit relevant, but... um. Honestly, the worst card ever printed. 
Barry, I'm gonna fucking kill you the next time I see you. <laughs> I mean, Honest was insane back in the day when, you know, you, you didn't just like... What what year is it, Nadir? <laughs> sure isn't 2009. Oh, but now we can play three Honest and Trickstars, that's broken, right? Ooh, Trickstars, ooh, minus 200! <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, yeah. it's like in, like, in these days, all your cards need to just, like, be extenders or starters and just anything to like get your engine going and make it do really good powerful things it's just no space for defensive cards anymore really and if you are going to play defensive cards you're going to play shit like d barrier and strike not fucking honest that's why it's a three <laughs> yeah, I guess. it only took them like fucking literally five years or something like if honest was a three in like shadal format back in 2014 or like who cares? What was before that? Dragon Rose? Okay, three Honest and Dragon Rose. Three okay. Honest and Cosmo. Remember that? Okay. Yeah, no, that, no, that, remember that Cosmo deck that played Honest? That was actually good in that deck. Three Honest would have actually been really good in that deck. Oh, what, yeah. the attack oh, deck? For, for Farm Girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> honest on Farm Girl was broken. Broken! <laughs> but then even that deck became a combo deck eventually, so it's like, you know... Do I really want well, yeah, the Fire King version? Yeah, yeah the Fire King. Okay, and then the other version oh, that, was what? Oh, that deck was good, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then you had like Just Demise. Just And you can't play that in Demise. Um, Watch me. Okay, so this one's pretty oh, big shit. potentially. Rescue Cat. Um, I find this really cool. Uh, yeah, one, one card librarian. One card librarian. Wait, how's that um, one card librarian? Do you not need like two of the same level or something? No. No. Uh, no. It's two level three lower beasts from your deck. Their Sweet. effects are negated, they're destroyed during the end phase. Alright. So what's the most broken thing this card can do like currently? I can make a nap beast, I guess. <laughs> uh you can make invoker and then summon rap here and then uh make Mrs. <laughs> um here. you can summon two paraparo Cerberuses off of it and then um turn them into a Mrs. Radiant. No, and, Dante, or, wait, wait, wait. and or a Dante, and then mill three, and then you have like double para para setup, which is actually quite broken. It's like quite hard to like deal with sometimes. Can, can you summon Melly of the Trees, or is that plants? Yeah, you can summon Melly of the Trees. That's yeah. kind of cool. You can, um, you can, that's there. So then, you like, can you cattle can... call into um Cree, and then you went into the Mrs. Sarah. Radiant oh, on, using like a para para service. <laughs> <laughs> kind of cool. well, thank you for the subs, I really appreciate it. Thank you, dude. Uh, it makes that spell more consistent as well. Yeah, the, the emerging rescue. Uh, yeah. All them rescue <clears throat> cards. Uh, next rescue card is Rabbit. This is interesting. Um, hype. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, it. You can summon um, two Hollow Hollow from your deck more consistently. The only deck I've ever seen it played in is World Chaos. It's the only deck I ever think it will see it play um, in. For metal, a while. It, metal. It was played Metal for, right? Yeah, but I think Metal Force sucks in Master Roll 4. Okay, so here's a there's something interesting, right? My I don't know if anyone knows, my favorite normal monster of all time is Draco Master dude, I can't even remember his name. <laughs> Master, Master Pendulum. Master, Pe Master, Master Pendulum. Pendulum. Um and I was actually like trying to figure out a way to like incorporate that again because like rabbit into like two masterpieces. Uh, masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> two master masterpieces. Rabbit into two master yeah. <laughs> Rabbit, two master Judge. Into, like, what shit are you smoking? <laughs> into something would be really cool. Like, um, fucking uh, decode, like, somehow. Like, some other guy. Oh, and then, like, making dino, dino Fighter or... What was his name again? I can't even remember the guy. But the I master. loved being able to contact Fuse with Master Pendulum. And it was yeah, just... You're gonna, how are you going to pendulum them back out, bro? Yeah, that's, that's kind of the issue. I was really like, trying uh, to figure out Make my Starboy with Dynamite Dynastar, whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> yeah, night. you can wrap it into two of the, the big Megalodon X and then make Starboy. Or or you can go into two Psychic Kappas and then... Uh, yeah, yeah, and then you make, can just play Make Twitch chat kill themselves. Yeah, so that was kind of a disgusting recently by like some people. Uh, wrap it into like... Water level two vanillas for pen um for paleo, which is is cool. If people, you like. you mean just Duncan, right? Gives paleo the yeah. ability to brick. Yeah, and like that deck that like, doesn't need like brick because it's just like really sort of consistent, and it grinds a lot and goes to the mid game quite often, which is sort of a taboo word in twenty seventeen. But yeah, that deck does have sort of like a mid game, <clears throat> and when you're like top decking into vanillas and stuff, it's just the absolute worst. So, 
probably not viable there. But yeah, like it's interesting. Um, I think that for the most part, it wouldn't really contribute to combos, perhaps until I don't know. Like it could do depending on what kind of new link monsters and stuff we get. Rabbit's really interesting. I think like it will be like, I think we will see it being played in in in, uh, in the meta at some sh in some shape or form at some point. But we shall see. Summoner Monk see. is that three? Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> there might be some monk cool into things monk can do into them. monk into rescue cat into get fuck get fuck get fuck idiots to air bellum <laughs> and then make dark strike make... fighter tribute it no, like, make real, a second eh? dark strike fighter tribute it bro you can like yeah. monk into monk into monk into something else fireball dragon nice nice no, you can Here. monk into monk into monk into rescue cat then use rescue cat and you have five monsters on your field from yeah, one fun. monk. This card, four, yeah, card four, that's the first four card combo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but it's not specific cards, you know, it's just monk and Oh yeah, it's not specific just cards, three it's spells. monk and three spells. Jordan, <laughs> if you could open monk and two spells, you end the game anyway. <laughs> Is there any good spells to this card? Uh, yeah. Pantheism. Kaiju Slumber. Uh, Pantheism. <laughs> slumber, that's that one. Um... <laughs> uh, a uh, bunch of stuff, yeah. Metal Floor Fusion. I don't know. Nothing really. Okay, great. Shuffle Reborn to out Floodgate Trap Ball in the future. <laughs> Which of the Black Forests? So, what does the new effect do again to remind us? It searches um, at 1500. Save a sand gun. Right, but you can't you use can, it on that you can, turn. You can make Sandwich. Yep, Sandwich sure, is now. There are two Exodia pieces. The Sandwich combo is finally free. So Play Exodia with Train Sand Gun, Tree, Witch of the Black Forest, and like back Dude. to the fronts and stuff. Dude, the fucking sandwich <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. Glad you obviously you've, play uh... three desires in that deck for a higher ceiling. I think you've just designed my new locals deck. Uh, someone at locals was talking about it, don't give me credit. <laughs> my locals is quite daft. Charge to three. Um, this is kind of scary. A little bit scary, isn't it? Like, cause like charge, charge is like, you know, was was pretty broken, but oh, I, that's like oh, really I, I likely. get to see my opponent smell three spells of charge more often, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess. But you know, the thing is, like, there's no good. JY ones. just JY just went seven one with sixty card lights one. Yay. Um, but yeah, uh, charge is like, it it like the mill factor and stuff is really awesome and shit, but. Light Swans don't have a good monster to search, really. They have a level 4 tuner. He's, he's alright. He's been good, he's been alright, and he doesn't really do much. I mean, it's a normal summon. The deck is just loaded um, with normal li summons. Light, Light Swan has some cool combos, though. Um, You can do cool things with, like, Top Logic Bomber Dragon and, like, Snow. Ooh. So it's quite it. cute. Pretty cute. But yeah, I think, like, Charge needs a be better target. Before it becomes like, you know, to to have made this hit like, wow. But yeah, I think like it was at two for so long, and that's just that's just a weird number. Like the semi limited list that for the most part is irrelevant. Yeah. Dragon Ravine, a three finally after um, uh, uh, badly four? timed, but very yeah. badly timed. Uh, well, well, maybe came back at three right now. Yeah. What are you talking I'm about? not very happy about that. Because of the fucking distributor thing. Yeah, but you didn't need three. You were already playing three like three terraforming and three set rotation. You probably yeah, not you, even played three dragon right, if you had one, then it'd make the rest of them dead, huh? Yeah, but oh. it was already at two. I think it would have been extremely funny as well if they had. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so the final important card of the entire ban list of 2017, September 12th, was it 17? Is Wavering Eyes straight to fucking three out of some, zero. Some real uh, wacky shit. I think, I think they just felt really guilty that, uh, that they got its pendulum so bad ages ago. Yeah, it might just be like one of those kind of things. I just really don't like this card in the mirror. Like... Yeah, this card does not promote healthy mirror matches at all. Yeah, I think Magician Never. is the only exception to that rule because there is ways to like protect your scales and stuff if you fear a wavering and shit. Uh, 
I mean, a lot of people have said that like the only reason they like playing this card or do play this card um, is because your opponent plays it, and if they activate it and you don't have it, then you have a bit of a problem. It's such a terrible like catch twenty two thing where it's like I'm only playing this card because my opponent's playing it. Like that's well, then it does it. I guess on paper that kind of sounds dumb because it's like, I'm only playing MST because my opponent's playing Floodgates. Uh, but like I mean, oh, totally understandable, mate. <laughs> But you know what I mean? It's like it, it's there for that one niche like situation only. You know, like the fact that Jeff Jones said in his video after he won the UDS was, "I only played this card because my opponent might have it, and I cited it out versus every matchup that wasn't the mirror." So that's like, it's kind of like it's not really shit, but I just feel like it's a very terrible sort of interaction. Not really interaction, but. Yep, no, no, you cannot take away it, but we all know what you mean. Like, is it even good to use as a combo card? Like, unless you have, like, double iris or some shit, like... In the current deck, not not really. It's something cool is that you can search Astrograph and then just sell it, but... It is yeah, really, really cool that you can do that. Um, there's another cool thing that you can do with Chronographer. You can, like, uh, Wavering and then... Um, I think Chronograph has the same summoning conditions as Astrographer, right? But if you trigger Pendulum Graph... Chronographer lets you special the guy you just searched. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, it's amazing how nature works, if you think of it. <laughs> but I don't think anyone's like doing that at all. I might have like messed up the combo, but there is a way to like special the thing you just searched off Chronograph. Um, yeah, that's about all I have to fucking say about that card. So, um, overall, as a ban list, as, like... As a whole, I think that for the most part, I think it's fine. I think, um, it's a, I think Max, it was a good Max, thing. Max C did not go. Uh, yeah, we'll get on to the things that should have been there in a sec. But overall, just like generally, I'd give this ban list a fucking solid like five, eight five out of ten. Seven. Five out of seven. <laughs> but yeah, like five out of seven is a good number. But seriously, I think like eight out of ten. Like I think they hit pretty much everything that I wanted to hit. They hit the nail on the head with everything. Um, obviously I went to the fireball hit. Well, I don't know, they're probably not going to do that. I mean, we all knew it wasn't going to happen, but yeah, I agree. Yeah. So, I think, yeah, I mean, every, the thing is, like, the Yu-Gi-Oh! community is never going to agree 100% ever with a ban list, but I did do a poll in Zodiac that had, like, 600 responses or something, and it was overwhelming majority happy with the ban list. Um, literally, it must have been about 85% of people said, like, this was a good ban list. Not, like in the middle sort of like mm, it was alright because I did make that an option it was about 85% of people uh, about a pool of about 600 people said this was a good ban list a strong ban list I like this ban list I agree with the hits and I feel like that's the that's just m most people's thoughts so yeah overall how was it give me a rating uh, uh, seven 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 and uh, maybe six and a half out of ten for me. Ooh, spicy. Yeah. Um, they did some weird things, but for the most part, it was good. I think it was probably the best balance we've had in some time. <laughs> in quite a while. I think the reason it's so popular is because it just hit the meta decks and people just, you know, yeah. people like that. People didn't like Zoo. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway. Um, Let's go on to the problems with the ban list. The problems. The problems. Where, Where the begin? fuck is Masterpiece? Yeah. yeah. So Masterpiece is probably the biggest thing is to go. Maxi at least isn't a card that you search. Let's go one at a time. Uh, Masterpiece is a card that you um, search. We, so, yeah, I think so many people I've spoken to were in agreement that Masterpiece had to go. Um, there's ways they could have done it. They could have limited it, maybe, which, you know, you could say that really doesn't do anything, but the I, like the fact is that they can't do it multiple times, which they were doing, would be sort of good, but it definitely needed hit in some way. Like that card needed hit. It, it the masterpiece is a fucking format defining card. That's how strong it is, and it it was just not addressed. Yeah, strange. Um, as for the being a one thing. Um, some I, I don't think it's a very good thing because like the yeah, deck. Your true Draco was already was only playing one. No, the I know that, that's that what I'm saying. Like it will. The deck that's well, shaped up now is kind of like it doesn't have like great version anymore because it doesn't have the little guys anyway. 
uh, and it's still kind of functions, but just because like sometimes you summon it and your opponent doesn't have it. Uh, I don't think that's like a really healthy format design. Like I completely understand that putting it to one doesn't actually do anything, but it would have been nice to like see the recognition that yes, this card is strong, this is powerful, this is a problem, but there it just wasn't addressed at all. Like, yeah, like I said, I would and no to... diagram either. Like the like diagram, I don't think needed to be hit, but um, it's kind of like if you're not hitting masterpiece, you have to hit at least like some kind of way to make masterpiece. They didn't really do that. They did it slightly, but. Like, I think if they limited the babies, like, limit Dynamite, limit Ignis, and ban Masterpiece, that would have made the deck pretty, still pretty good. Like, Dynamite is really strong. Um, mm. But, you know, without Masterpiece, it's not, like, insane. A lot of people do think that the Diagram needs hit, yeah. Um, I think Diagram's I think issue was, like, it was working really uh, well in non-Draco decks. I think Diagram's okay as a Hard, but like with the saga and masterpiece, both issues. I put it this way: I find it kind of weird that they hit with the saga, which was like one of the problems of the diagram, and they didn't consider the obvious one, which was masterpiece. Mm. It just kind of seems a bit peculiar. Because there's like obviously a conscious decision to say, actually, no, this card is not in it. But... Yep. Uh, as for the next major sort of address of this ban list that didn't get touched upon at all was Max C. Yeah, yeah that's um. So like we I could mean... have a fucking full debate about this card in and of itself, but so my thoughts on it was like, okay, so they're slowly bringing it down to zero because it went from three and then it went to two and now it went to one, and then this bounce they just kind of skipped it and were like, okay, we'll keep it at one. Now this is this is how I feel about non-engine unsearchable cards. I don't think they should ever be put at one or two. I think they should always be banned or they should always be put at three. That way you are able to play around it and you're able to have a situation where you can, you know, um, deck build around the fact that there's this amazing hand trap in the game that's at three and, you know, I need to be careful for it. Whereas if it's at one, you have this horrible situation where it's like, I'm going to play a combo deck, I'm going to special summon lots. And one in eight games, I'm going to be absolutely shredded to pieces. I'm just going to have to just fucking pass and, like, lose the game. Most times, most times. Like, you can still win if you get maxed, but generally, you know, the way the, the pace of the game is today in 2017, like, if you get maxed, it's it tips the balance. It's your extremely favorite. unfavorable, yeah. So, on the other hand, you know, a lot of people, that I find the majority, and I did put do a poll for this as well, talking about maxed, an overwhelming majority of people want maxed to stay. And yeah, they thought that one was fine. Now, okay, on the other hand, we can say, sure, we can keep Max C, but I don't like it at one and I don't like it at two. If we, if we are going to keep Max C, which I don't think we should, but if we are hypothetically going to keep Max C at three... Uh, you you would keep it at three, yeah. Yeah, we need to put yeah. it to three, because that way... It's a zero or a three card. Exactly. So I can anticipate it, and I can play around it, and I can deck build around it, but to have it just randomly dropped on me occasionally is just terrible, and it's just the worst feeling ever. That's just how I see it. Yeah, I that's agree. right. It's a zero or three card. Anywhere in between is just completely fucking stupid. Uh, I think it's probably the same with Soul Charge, but recently it's Soul Charge's kind of been irrelevant. Well, I'm very sad about that. Um, there's also that... So, and I'll, I'll probably just quickly explain my reasoning why I want Max C banned um, more, more than I want it at three is because of the fact that I think, and a lot of people disagree, but... Because people say, oh, it needs to keep the meta in check. And I was like, well, it's not fucking doing that at one, is it? The idea is that in this day and age, like, the, the decks are so strong, they're so f powerful, they're so fast, we're constantly special summoning. Sum special summoning used to be special. It was a fucking momentous occasion when you conducted a special summon. Nowadays, like, if you're not special summoning, your deck isn't fucking doing anything. Like, it's not functioning, it's not even relevant. Like, there's literally, like... A hundred archetypes that can beat your deck if you if you like just don't special summon you know other, unless you're playing like burn or some shit but you know those are anomalies so it just puts you so far back in the game when you get max seed because the way the decks work is you're constantly trying to like out combo each other and make bigger boards than each other and the moment you get max seed you need to stop there and the problem is when you stop there you're gonna lose next turn unless you know potentially have your own maxi and more hand traps to draw into because otks are so prevalent 
Like it was very hard to OTK, but now <coughs> like any deck can put eight thousand up straight up like on the board. Yeah. The point is that like you're Barry playing, Mizzou. you get maxed. Your options are continue and lose to a forty card hand, stop and lose because your board isn't strong enough to survive any sort of OTK. Those are the two op- outcomes of maxi at this point of the game. Unless you have trap cards in your deck or hand traps in your hand, if you stop, you are dead. And if you continue, you are dead. Yep. I just. I really that's like just the cards. unfair. I've always vouched for Maxine. I've always really liked it conceptually because I think that it's a soft floodgate where, you know, unlike Vanny's Emptiness, which says, no, 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 sorry, too late. It's like you have options where it's like I can keep going and I can play and I can risk it, you know, or I can... it, it does theoretically add more depth to the game. Yeah, so uh, it promotes right now, right now it's making... working, but... but it really doesn't and it doesn't do that anymore, I feel. It just I like the idea of it being a soft floodgate, but it it, does, it just it feels more like a hard floodgate than anything these days. And that's why I don't like Maxi. Let me know if you guys uh, agree or not in chat. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could argue for it being at one, uh, three, sorry, um, and like, yeah, okay, fair enough, you have your argument, but if anybody wants to see it at one or two, you're just, you're literally just wrong. There's, there's no, uh... <laughs> like, I can understand the reasoning for wanting it at three. You if know, you want it at three, okay, fine, you can argue for that. Like, it, is, yeah. it is like a legitimate point you can take. I don't agree with it, but um, at least it has some kind of reason behind it, but one or two is just, just get wrong. Just leave, leave. So the next big card on the list that hasn't come back or wasn't addressed at all or anything like that, El Shadal Construct. A lot of debate, a lot of talk about that card. More importantly, I think Shadal Fusion because Construct is terrible without that card. Mm-hmm. Um, Construct, yeah, okay, wouldn't do really, really anything, but Shadal Fusion is really, really good when you have something to summon off it that like you can still play with. The window wouldn't let you play, or uh, the other guys are just terrible. Construct would give you plus and pop the back row, and you do a lot of stuff. So I don't think I should come back for that reason. Because like, Shadow Fusion would become like this side deck card that was, just like eclipses board types in a lot of ways. So that's the main issue I have with Construct. It's like, it's not Construct that I, I feel is like a problem. It's the fact that you could potentially be seeing everyone just siding into like going second yeah the archetype would be very good yeah like um, three dolls uh three shadow fusion two or three dolls and maybe i'll light if your deck doesn't have an engine light and that's just really strong going second but having like a one card plus two is just really really strong to be fair that's six side deck spots you're dedicating to draw three cards uh, if you're dunking you're in the shadow right <laughs> I mean, ideally, you play it in a light deck, so you don't have like, to side play, in a shit Yeah, but, oh, but you're still siding, like, three dolls. So you're siding three dolls and three fusion. You're dedicating six side deck spots and one extra deck spot to oh. something that is going to come up 33% of the time you put it in. I don't think I'd side in six. I'd probably put two dolls, like, dragon beasts and three dolls, uh, three fusion. That's probably what I'd go for. Yes. But the thing is, it's like... Don't like underestimate like the light you're sending as well because there's a lot of powerful light monsters. Oh yeah, and engine yeah, yeah. There's a lot. There's trick clone. Um, yeah. So you have like trick clone. Like... like spirals can send like uh, something that they can. The only light, light in spiral is sleeper, and you don't want to send that. Wait, what? I thought like there was more lights. Nope, just sleeper. Oh, okay. Um, you can send one of your two be alive, <laughs> and then warrior turn alive. It's back, you know. Broken. <laughs> So, Ariel, why I don't mean, you work for our Maybe it can come back, perhaps. Like, I guess Jordan's kind of made a good point. Jordan, the combat was Stardust. Great, oh, but... come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the 33% of the time you see it, sure, it's going to be good. But, like... Nah, Jordan, you're silly. Thank you, so much, the sub, Thank you so much for the sub, Atun. Thank you so much for the sub, Atun. Side deck to drawing something 33% of the time. A whole third of your side deck. Yeah, but, like... Shadow Fusion is an extremely hard card that probably warrants it. Especially if Construct was at 1, the recursion of Shadow Fusion coming back from Construct wouldn't even be relevant. So it's a one and done thing. I don't, it doesn't seem that powerful to me. Mm. 
maybe. It's weird though, because like they could bring it back for one format, and it could just be like really ignorant and terrible, or it could just do nothing. But then again, like it's a really it, you know it could just be like a format to format card. Like it could be like you know sending that one light, regard like depending on what like the the archetypes are at any given point. That could just be nuts, you know, at some point. Like sending trick clown, let's say. I don't know, <clears throat> during Pepe format, like citing the Shadows for going second, like you, you bring back that Trick Clown, now you have like a rank four play, like without a Pendulum summoning, and you have a Construct on field. Like it just depends on the format. Do you know what I mean? Like it could be like really broken at certain times. So like if it was at, th if, if Construct was, was around in Pepe format, I think it, it would be really, really legit for going second. Because you have a rank four and a beater that can out, Pretty much anything. Yeah, in Pepe format, we have stuff like fucking Damage Juggler, of course it'd be insane. <laughs> in search of scale. Mm, but, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, all it takes is there to be, like, some really strong light monster at some point, And, like, Construct could... Like, uh, Construct being at one could just make going second fucking insane. Because now, now you have to deal with a beater and, like, some, like, crazy light monster in the grave that does something relevant. <laughs> Off of one card? That already went plus two? I don't know. I think just as a safety measure, it should probably stay banned, but... Just don't yeah. summon from your extra deck, bro. Yeah, it's like Maxi, just don't special summon, bro. <laughs> um, next card uh, that I feel is relevant to talk about would be Exiton Knight. I mean, why That's would they Errata and then just... Or, not Errata, they just like reprinted it and then just left it banned. <laughs> I find that funny. Mm -hmm. I guess it hadn't gone reprint in a while, but then, well, obviously, what's the point of um, reprinting yeah. if it's... Like, I'm trying to think of other banned cards that they reprinted, but just didn't bring back. And I can't really um, think of they any. Reprinted, they reprinted in front of the Archfiend in an OTS pack randomly, and then didn't yeah, do but, anything with it. That's yeah, a lot. I mean, that thing's card's just not scary. Banned. I mean, just banned, though. Like, PLS was banned for years. It came out in Premium Gold 4, and then it got unbanned. Like they, they they just reprint banned cards all like things that are banned and then bring them back on the next list quite a lot and then it just didn't happen this time. Can be spooky? They just try to spook us with this one. I don't, I don't think <laughs> I don't got any more. I think they were just like ah, we're gonna spook them out. Don't OCG still have Exton? I don't think so. No way. Do they? Surely not. Uh, they do. They do. Yeah, they do. OCG have Exiton? Yeah, they never lost it. Exton's kind of weird though with um, last of four. Mm. Yeah, because like you can exit on them and then like that's it. Like you can't yeah. like, do anything. Link else. it away. Yeah, you, you don't want to exit on and then pass your turn. You know what I mean? Like you have to exit on and then you'd have to like make a link and then you'd have to play. So yeah, I don't know. Which seems like a lot. Yeah, so it's like yeah, it does seem like quite a bit. Uh, and it'd still be a pretty viable card in a lot of situations, but yeah, it's definitely something that should have came back. I don't know, I'm just kind of so weird. You should come uh, back. Yeah, I think so. Especially with like someone. Hmm. Uh, how can you justify a card like Shogun Battle and then like not have this card again? Mate, no, I'm not justifying that card at all. <laughs> I mean, like, from their, their perspective. Their perspective. I mean, they get to choose what card they keep with Shogun Battle. That makes it fair, right? Yeah, exactly. Just, uh, just don't play I will your... keep my uh, one Spiral Slipper. Yeah, which pops two cards, and then when it dies, summons a Slipper Agent from your deck, which pops a third card. It's fine. Like, don't um, don't overextend your board. Like, don't set too many cards and don't play too many combos. Exactly. Like, let, let me let me play my Paleozoic deck and I uh, set if one. If they did draw their three of, then you're fucked. So don't do it. Yeah, just like summon su summon super agent and like set handy wire. Like that's enough. Like yeah, exactly. Chill. I mean, <laughs> you're gonna kill them. You can make the rest of the do. Chill. Proxy dragon and uh, extra link, but you're not. Just, Kids don't do these it. days don't respect advantage anymore. <laughs> they don't know anything about tempo. They just like they all have ADD kids these days. They just fucking vomit their board onto the field. They can't just chill and just wait a few turns before exactly. going. Exactly. Like they they need ba to learn. Back in the nineteen forties, <laughs> when, when men used to dress properly. Back in my day, I used to trick. And shuffle. colonial England was a major superpower. Uh, yeah, the meta game is much better. Back in the day, I used to trick shuffle my strongest cards to the bottom of my deck. So that in the late stages of the game, I can make a swift comeback. <laughs> Do you remember oh, yeah, that copper pasta? Please tell me you remember that. 
Trick Shuffle. That's lovely. <laughs> I like that a lot. Oh, okay, so... I think Exiton is weird. I think, like, some formats it could be broken. Some formats it could just be ass. Yeah. Eh, I don't know. I think with the context of, like, someone, I think, just whatever, mate, like, Exiton's here. It's here. Cool. I mean, I haven't done anything in... Uh, what's it called? Yeah, the thing is as well, right? To do Exton now, you'd have to like Exton, you'd have to like, extend it after. So like to Exton someone, you'd have to actually like commit your board to their Exton. So like uh, maybe maybe um, commit to like a kind of interest in sway dynamic because obviously you can't kill them that turn, right? So um, I don't know. It, it could be cool. Mate, um, but like you know, you could like. <laughs> I personally don't think it would be that relevant. So in, in Barry's format, we're going second. We're activating Shadow Fusion from deck. We're summoning Construct. We're summoning Trickton. <laughs> we're not no, summoning bro. Joker. We're, we're going and then we're blowing Fusion. up the field with two cards. <laughs> Mate, we're going Shadow Fusion, and we're sending Exiton. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> broken. Broken. Oh. Wait. No, I'm not an advocate for Shadow Fusion. Don't put that in. <laughs> so in Jordan's Talk format, down. we're going yeah, yeah, second. In Jordan's format. In Jordan's format, we're playing like all you, and uh, we open like one card combos. Like we open Clubbar <laughs> Scat and the ends on like fucking seven counter traps, uh, Ghost Ash, uh, Reaper, and uh, Zero Monsters and Void. Um, what is this uh, archetype cube? Yeah. <laughs> archetype. That's what that's what you want the fucking game to be. You fucking that would be insane, man. That would be so fun. Scout search master. <laughs> that would be so fun. Uh, it would be fun, Jordan. That's what it would be. Scout it's like every ma every mirror match is just spiral mirrors, but you open one for one machine duel. <laughs> <laughs> what you get to watch your opponent play for half an hour? Machine that sounds funny. Ju peril, peril. <laughs> oh. Right. Uh, so we're coming up to about an hour mark. Is there anything else that we should probably talk what, about? How? You said it. <laughs> Is there anything else that we should probably talk about? I don't think so. An hour? Fuck that, mate. We've kind of... It's gonna be another hour. I don't want to talk again. <laughs> Oh, Heavy uh, Storm, no. I suppose. That's an interesting one that comes up every fucking ban this season. Heavy Storm. Uh, we've got Struggling Battle. Yeah. It's literally better. We've also, we've also got three Heavy Dust Storm, three Twin Twisters, three Cosmos, aye, we've got, three aye. Mystical Space Typhoon. I think oh. we've got enough, mate. Let's just play Back Row Destruction the deck. <laughs> I'm pretty, I, I, can you get 40 cards that only... Destroy back. Yes. Is that possible? Easily. Yeah, easily. easily. Like three breaker, three ice spoon, three ice breaker, <laughs> three cosmic cycle, three twin twister, uh, three dust, duster fucking thing, three dust tornado, three typhoon. <laughs> right, we'll build a we'll build a, a back row hate dot deck after the stream. Um, anything else here? Oh, let's talk about monster reborn. Is that like, <laughs> is that possible to come back? OCG have have had it for like two years. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. Uh, no, I don't, I don't think that Monster they also have two pot of avarice. Oh mate, I'm so jealous of them having avarice, but like that's bro, that's just wrong. That's just incorrect. That's Imagine just... avarice and zoomers. Just get fucked. Get, get fuck. Is it not like different types or something or different names? No, no. you just no, put just literally like any like five monsters from your grave into your deck and drop it. Wow. And that cards it too. And that yeah. makes no sense because it's like sometimes I, I'm gonna like, and that's the thing because it's, I mean, it's win more as so fuck. No one's no, playing it. Yeah, sorry, it's not win more, but it snowballs you into a win so much faster because if you open Avarice first, okay, now you're drawing two more cards. Now you're like likely to see. See in World Challenge, you can put five monsters in your grave and three summons. Oh, uh, pog jump. Avarice. Yeah, it would be so good. It would be so good. Your exercise, your extra deck is uh. Multiplied by um, two. I just want them to like do snatch deal every format. Like I don't mean snatch deal specifically, but like just bring back a random fucking card for one format. Like every yeah. format, just see what the fuck happens. Like. Yeah, I love the generosity. <laughs> just I love Imperial Order. Just bring back Super Poly for like oh, one. Oh, let's format, talk about that. Why didn't Order go? because uh, Konami like was order. it not a was it not a snatch deal? I mean, it was they're not bringing it back for one format, seeing its aid, and then banning it again. Seven hundred life points every turn. That's so much. You could die in like. I turns. you're joking, but like because life, life points like, do matter. You could die nah, in like eighteen right, turns. Right, you're joking, but like the majority of folk that flipped order on me have lost it. 
That's because they were playing it in the Zoom era. Yeah, it's terrible. Oh, like, fine, fine, whatever. It's terrible like, in the Zoom era. I'm ordering the Zoom era. Jesus. Yeah, that card shouldn't exist. But, uh, it, it wasn't like a primary thing <clears> to take off. Okay, so I think that pretty much wraps up everything we could ever want to say about this ban list, to be honest. Um, talk about some of the results, I guess, which we didn't really mention too much. So, uh, UDS was, it was like fucking 70% top cut was Pendulum. Uh, I didn't really look up the statistics on the ARG, but I don't think Pendulum did as well as the UDS. But there was still a lot of Pendulum there anyway. There was also a couple of true Draco, Patrick Hoban and some of his friends, I think, topped with Draco. Draco invoked. Uh, Patrick played pure, did he not? No, he played Draco no. invoked. Are you sure? He played Draco invoked with yes, triple Mariamne. Yes. I swear, I remember. Him just playing. It was it was Mariamne Draco demise with, uh, with one out of rotations. Yeah. rotation. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to give the magical meltdown or whatever the fuck. Okay. Well, we're gonna go back to streaming now. So, thanks everyone for on YouTube for watching this. So this has been our ban list discussion. Comment, like, subscribe. If you've watched this far into the video, hashtag uh, last turn. If you've watched this far, all the way to the end. And Oh, here, they should definitely bring that back. <laughs> so it can be a snatch deal for one format. They'll errata it so it just says, like, oh, this is the last turn of the duel. Like, call a judge. <laughs> Raise your hand and call a judge. <laughs> that's, the, that's the text of the card. <laughs> Right, see you later on YouTube. It's gonna start recording now. Bye bye, take care.